Hey everybody, here we are for Gene Kelly's final MGM musical of the 1957 Play Girls, also starring Mitzi Gaynor, Kay Kendall, and Diana Elg. So I think it's how it's pronounced. We'll try for that anyhow. But uh, after publishing a tell-all book on her life, Lady Sybil Wren, Kay Kendall, is sued by a former friend, Angel Ducrow, Diana Elg. In uh, court, Sybil relates how the two of them had both been part of a dance troupe called Barry Nichols and Lay Girls. According to Sybil, Angel had an affair with Barry Nichols, Jean Kelly, while she was engaged to Pierre Ducrow. Uh, when Pierre showed up unexpectedly, Angel got really flustered during a performance. Angry, Barry broke up with her and she tried to commit suicide. However, when Angel was given her chance to testify in court that she maintained that Sybil was an alcoholic and that she was the one who had a relationship with Barry. He broke up with her when she prevented him from getting the act booked into an English theater owned by Sir Gerald Wren, her wannabe boyfriend. And then she tried to commit suicide. Now with two conflicting stories, they bring in Barry Nichols to testify. Now I would say that the movie barely qualifies as a musical with only a small handful of songs. The music was written by Cole Porter in what turned out to be the last movie that he worked on. Most of the songs occur on stage with the Sa Say L'Amour and You're Just Too Too being the only ones that occur off stage. One a romantic tune and the other somewhat a comedic duet. Probably the most fondly remembered song and dance from this movie is the song Why Am I So Gone About That Gal in which Gene Kelly partnered with Mitzi Gaynor does a parody of The Wild One. Now, I personally think it's one of the movie's best moments. I would say that the rest of the movie is a lot of fun, too. Kay Kendall's performance as a drunken Sybil seems to be one of the things that people enjoy about this movie, and I do agree, she is very hilarious. I will admit it with this movie, if you are going into it thinking that the three stories of what happened will mesh, you might be disappointed, as they don't. However, the movie does admit, admit to that with one guy carrying around a sign asking what is truth. And you can see the glances shared between Barry, Sybil, and Angel at the trial, both before and after Barry gives his testimony. That really leave you wondering just how accurate his testimony is. But, whatever the case, I like this movie, I think it's fun. Maybe not Gene Kelly's best movie, but it's still worth more seeing just for the fun of it. The movie is available on Blu-ray and DVD from Warner Archive Collection and is 1 hour and 54 minutes in length. Well, that's all for this one, everybody. Thanks for tuning in again, and uh, we'll be back again soon.